A national comedian with local roots will be headlining at Go Bananas in Montgomery this weekend. Yeah, Mark Chalifo says his show will be politics free <laughs> and he hopes it will be a fun escape from everyone's awkward Thanksgiving dinner table debates. He joins us now uh, to tell us more about this. And, and Mark, Hi, Mark. I to, yeah, I, coincidentally, I just heard on the radio yesterday where there were families talking about where they are not even going to get together mm -hmm. uh, today because the politics have become so toxic to talk as. Yeah, I mean, it can be, but you have to weigh that against how good the food is yeah. you know there's got to be some give and take there and uh like for me i'm not going to give up on the great thanksgiving dinner just to avoid the political stuff yeah um, but you know that is going to be a problem for a lot of people at their tables today is uh, everyone's having the debate the cross-generational stuff and it gets ugly it does get bad do you ever have things like this happen with with your family i mean you, you grew up here in cincinnati now you, yeah. you've moved back home with your wife and daughter yes yeah, so it does it does happen on occasion and uh <laughs> tempers can flare up and that sort of thing and i just try and tune that out by eating more pumpkin pie and just <laughs> kind of <laughs> focusing on the task See, at hand. See, I would think you would use your comedy to diffuse some of it. Yeah, but I'm, on, I'm not on the job at dinner. And I feel like <laughs> <laughs> if you diffuse it, it's always someone's going to get their feelings hurt even worse. Oh, and they're going to okay. take it a little too personally. And then I'm yeah. the bad guy when really I'm just trying to save the holiday for everyone else. So <laughs> I cut it for them and I just salvage it for myself, basically. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, during a normal part of the year, do you include politics? I mean, it seems like every, every comedian it looks like hunting in a baited field, right? Yes. Just, uh, <laughs> like there was a, a time when I would do a lot more political stuff mm -hmm. and, you know, I'll do some culture stuff, but uh, these days there's so much political comedy out there that yeah. it feels like you're trying to catch a handful of sand. You don't know where to focus because <laughs> yeah. there's so much going on and so Absolutely. many different things. So uh, for me, I've been focusing a lot on just like, you know, raising my two young daughters and mm -hmm. the challenges and that sort of brings up for me. Because uh, for me, I feel like, you know, you treat your first kid the way you treat like a package marked fragile. Yeah. And the second time around, you kind of treat them like the same way the UPS would treat that package, you know? <laughs> <laughs> We're a little bit more comfortable with the package situation. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, now, you have appeared on uh, Bob and Tom. You're a regular yes. on Bob and Tom. You've even been on the BBC, so you've been heard around the world. Yep. Um, what do you like about um, stand-up versus being on the radio? I guess there's more anonymity with the with the radio, but... Yeah, radio, it's fine. It's uh, I've done radio a lot before. The, the problem that I don't have, uh, or that radio kind of presents is you don't have that audience. You don't get that feedback mm -hmm. right away. Oh, and you having, like that better? Yes. Yeah. Having the laughs from 100, 200 people in the room is way better than having the laugh of, you know, some guy from behind the glass yeah. or, At least you, know, you the hope you have right. the laughs of 200 people. Yeah, so people, that right? is the risk. So if you're bombing on radio <laughs> and you might not know it, you might be like, that was great. But if you're bombing in a comedy club, you will know it. You'll <laughs> feel it. I, 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 one final question is, uh, you, you know, you left town, uh, you went to New York, you came yeah. back because of your family, that sort of thing. Uh, you do observational humor, obviously, you know, things that, the, the, happen in your life. Uh, New York a better place to, to, to find some comedy gems or here? Um, you know, there, there's definitely comedy to be found in both places. Yeah. I feel like uh, this weekend at, at Bananas, it, it's a good for me because there are a lot of things that outsiders don't understand about this city. Yes. You know, True. they don't get the chili. Mm -hmm. They don't understand why our biggest celebrity is a baby hippo. You know? <laughs> um, for me, I think that it's not a bad thing that Fiona is our biggest celebrity. I think it's worse that she only had to pass Nick Lachey to earn those honors. Oh. You know? That's a low bar for the hippo <laughs> to climb over. But and don't forget about reality. please. That's Mark sure. Shalafu, thank you. Uh, you can go see Mark this weekend at Go Bananas. Tickets are only $14 tomorrow and Saturday and $8 on Sundays. He'll be there all weekend making people laugh. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy it was so nice of you to come in today. Thanks for having me. Uh, 846, we'll be